So the um, gear shift mechanism is entirely out of the van there now. Um, basically it's only held in with, uh, you'll see there's four captive nuts on this side and there's four bolts to come up uh, from the bottom side um, to get the gear shift out. Now, that's, uh, that's basically the box that's underneath the van, right? Uh, you see the four bolts come up to, there, there, they've a 10, 10mm head on them, so they're an M6 bolt. Um, that has to come off as well too, so there's four uh, M6 bolts that uh, hold that on either side and I just took off the um, two bolts at the bottom as well too which go into the, uh, the kind of the blocks on either side of the shift um, which are badly worn in this case um, I actually had new ones of these, I just never used um, but uh, basically um, yeah so the, the, after you get that out then you need to take the um, the shift rod off there is a there's a bolt that goes through there and um, which is a 13 mil head on one side and 10 mil nut on the other side and you'll do that then um, you're free to ten, then take this whole assembly out um, but uh, what you can do then is at a previous stage I had already removed the um, the rod that goes from uh, behind the fuel tank to the gearbox and uh, taking the UJ off on the forward end of that, if you know what I mean. So the UJ was already disconnected. So then the rod that goes from the, from the other side of that over the fuel tank and up to here I was able to just pull out. It's quite long, but it actually comes out from underneath the van quite readily. And uh, yeah, that was uh, straightforward enough, which um, which was great. So I think the whole job just talk, took me about 15 minutes, which is uh, which is always a bonus. So. Um, now is a case of actually getting a new system in, so let's see how that goes. Could be a new uh, challenge here. Okay, so this is the um, this is the new system basically uh, that goes from the front of the van down to the gearbox. So you have um, these two cables and this um, pedestal and uh, shifter mechanism. I've already put them together, um, but they do come in two separate parts. So uh, four bolts, that bolts on there, and then you have the. Um, Cables. One cable comes up through here, so that is your um, forward and back motion, and your side to side motion is on this ball joint here. And then the cables transfer that motion down to the gearbox. So um, it all seems very straightforward. Probably isn't, but um, let's uh, let's start getting it installed. Okay, so here's the big gaping hole in the floor of the cab where this goes. Now, at first I thought this actually went like this. And kind of it up. It actually sits over this side, but it goes over the um, captive nuts. But um, that will put that far too too far back. It actually goes like this. So um, that makes much more sense, and uh, gives a very nice position for that. So um, what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to bolt down the um, bolt down the pedestal. Um, it comes with a, a load of washers to take up the space there for the captive nuts. Because obviously the whole assembly was bolted in from underneath first of all. And um, then we can pass the cables up through. Okay, so the pedestal's in, all the bolts are tight. There's actually three washers under there. There's a lock washer, there's a, a large kind of penny washer, and then there's one with a sort of a, a large hole in it which takes up the, the space that the, um, uh, the captive nut would have taken. Um, and then there's actually a nut on the other side as well too, just for safety's sake, it's there anyway as well too. So that's all in, it's nice and sturdy. They're all tight there now as well too. So what I've done is I've actually laid out the cables on the ground. Right, so you see there's two different cables. Um, the one with the spring on it, my understanding, would be for the um, uh, side to side movement. If you want to kind of spring back into the center and that spring is gonna do that for you. Um, now I have to have a look and see which way around these go. Um, I'm also a little concerned that I only have two of these clips. I, I uh, would have thought there'd be two on the other end as well too and I don't have them. So I'd have to have a look at that and see what the situation is there. Maybe I don't need them. Um, but uh, I'm going to have a look at some of the pictures on uh, online there of this system installed and we'll, uh, we'll figure it out. There's also not a... Well, there's a there's a grommet on the, on that end, and then there's a grommet down the other end. It might just need to be up here, so uh, that's all right. Anyway, let's uh, let's have a look at some pictures. So this is the picture I'm actually looking at here to try and figure it out. So you can actually see the um, the joints that are supposed to be on the gearbox end, and that is the rod for the side to side movement. That's the rod that I re-engineered. If you look back at my videos, you'll see that's obviously a new one in the picture. This is all on Ultimate Engineering's Facebook page, by the way. So I'm not making a, I'm not hiding it away anywhere or anything. 
So basically, what we need to do now is we need to attach them on the gearbox and um, then start uh, running them forwards in the van. I think that's probably the best way to go. And um, then we'll we'll bring them up uh, through the pedestal and onto the gear shift mechanism. There's obviously going to be a bit of adjustment required too. So um, yeah, we'll uh, we'll we'll get under the van and we'll uh, attach them up. So. So yeah, and, and by the way, actually that grommet there should be on the other end, um, so that one there just needs to be slid down. Um, this is also adjustable, so you can screw that up to whatever position you need to be at. So, um, and then that's obviously your locking nut there as well too. Same situation here. So um, we kind of, what we want is for the gear shift lever to be right in the center of its entire movement when the uh, gear shift is in neutral so um yeah we'll look at i mean we're not going to be going kind of adjusting everything just yet um uh, we'll we'll get this all installed first then we can adjust it afterwards okay so now we're just slithering in underneath the van and uh, one of the cable ends here the other one's on already uh, you'll see it there so that's the one for the side to side movement um, and then this literally, you get a rose joint here, goes on to this, well the ball joint that thing goes on there, it clicks on and should just slot in, um, I think actually this uh, cable should be in behind the other one so I'll just pop that back on again. So, I'd like to apologise for the shaky camera work. It's kind of par for the course, really. There you go, so that's on. And, yeah, so they need to be tapped home. Uh, they're, um, they're still sitting out a bit anyway. So we will need to, uh, we'll need to obviously adjust them. But uh, you can see the cables are there. So what I've done was I routed one of them around, up over the handbrake cable and just down that direction there. And uh, if you look there, I'm not sure if you can see it or not very well, you, you can kind of just see see through there. The uh, tunnel over the top of the fuel tank will allow us to pass the cables in through there and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So um, yeah, and then what I'll do is we'll pass them up into the, uh, into the cab and connect them at the other end and then we'll see how our adjustment is then. Okay, so uh, I was right in what I was saying that the, uh, the cables can just pass up in the tunnel over the... Uh, the um, the fuel tank and that. So they're going right down the centre of the van. There's a convenient place to put them. And uh, now we need to put them up through there, which is the uh, the bottom of the uh, shifter pedestal. But what I need to do is I need to find out which hole is for which. So that's the side to side movement one. And from the van. Side to side is the one on the uh, the left side of the van. Okay, so that's, that's where we need to pass that up through. And then we can pop that on. And then obviously the other one is forward and back movement. So, uh, let's have a quick look and see now. So, what we have here is, I would imagine that clip has to come off. Either that or I've just done a, made a bonehead move and the uh, cables have to come through the pedestal before they go through the back, to the back of the van and I think I might just have to do that. <sighs> no, 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 sorry, I'm right. Uh, no, I'm, I'm going all right. There's a, sh there's a step on that. So, let's get the clip off first. So there's the clip off. Okay, so that goes up through the little to there. I might just need to pull that up from the other side because it's snagging on something up there. So I might I might just do that. So yeah. Yeah, 
Right, so what we're looking at here is the cable comes up through here, through the, the next mesh as well too. The clip will go around there and then that just goes on to the side of the gear shift. So let's do that. So anyway, I need two hands for this. Bring a second now. Doesn't want to go on very easily. I think we need to give it a squeeze with channel locks or something like that. So yeah. And then the grommet will go down the hole down the bottom. So um we'll put the other cable up through anyway and get that lined up first of all and then we can um, we can worry about putting the cables on this end. And same situation again. Remove a clip. Comes out that one came off a bit easier. Okay. And that one's up in there now. Alright, so let's bring our clips with us this time because we can actually put them on. Once this is on, then we can't, and you see it's gone the wrong side there, so we just need to push it back down again. Come on. Just, to be honest folks, this would be one of those. Hang on, where are you going? This would be one of those jobs would be an awful lot easier if it was two people because I could just ask somebody to push the cable more forward. But the cable is dragging that um, uh, that back there so I can't get it back through the hole again. So um, what I'm going to do is pop underneath the van and push it through and then we'll get it connected up and I'll show you then. Okay so um, the cables are now disconnected at the uh, gearbox end and uh, what I want to do now is um, adjust them out so that they are um, properly lined up uh, with that in the neutral position so that that's that's centered now right so what we need to do is we need to go underneath the van we need to have a look at the way the cables are actually sitting and basically adjust them so that they don't we don't pull them when we're actually uh, when we're adjusting them so let's have a quick look and see now how this one's looking so, so right, so that one's actually not bad at that. I might even just get away with that one without adjusting it at all. So, we'll leave that one be. I know this one needs adjusting, so. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the camera down and I'm gonna do it. Okay, so that is neutral, right? First, second, third, fourth, fifth, and reverse. You can you're never gonna get better than that in a T25 folks, I can assure you. That is beautiful. I heard some people saying that the um, that it's uh, it, the cable shift mechanism feels vague. That is not vague, I can assure you. I have driven modern cars with more vague uh, gear shifts than that. That's beautiful. It literally just slots into gear. So first, second, third, fourth, fifth, reverse. And there is a lockout so that you can't go into a uh, reverse from fifth that would be there in the uh, original uh, Passat as well too, so that still exists. So like I'm in fifth there now, I'm going to go and try and go into reverse. It stops you. You have to go back to neutral before you can go into reverse. 
So um, yeah, I am really, really happy with that now. So uh, I put the uh, original gear shift knob on because to be honest with you, it, it, it feels nice. I mean, I know the, the uh, thing on the top is wrong. So what I could do is maybe flatten that down and put a little VW logo on it or something like that. Um, but uh, yeah, that's uh, definitely a, a big uh, victory here. Now the only thing I have to do is I have to um, tie up the cables underneath and um, get them up out of the way, route them properly because I think just the left to right one is just, it's like it's binding a little bit. It's, it's not bad now, but I think it should be a bit freer than that. Um, and uh, I have to get on to Ultimate Engineering and see if they can send me a new fucking ball joint because I broke one of the bloody things. Anyway, such is life. Um, it's the one for the uh, the one on the gearbox end for the left to right movement. Um, there's like a nylon cup inside in it, and the nylon cup went off center when I was trying to push it on, and when I pushed it on, it just went crunch and broke the inside of it. So I have it held on with a cable tie for the moment, but <laughs> that's obviously not going to stay like that. So uh, it's something for you to be careful of when you're doing this is just to make sure that the um, that you're not uh, forcing anything, and uh, it the the thing should just literally clip in. Um, but uh, anyway, look, you know, it's uh, those are the type of things that are easily available anyway. I mean, it's not like a, I broke a cable or something like that. The the rose joint on the end of it is uh, easy enough to get, so we'll uh, we'll get one. Anyway, um, I think I am going to leave it just about there for the moment. Um, let's have a quick look and see. Um, I have a checklist of uh, stuff I'm doing, um, but the fact that the uh, the fact that the cable shift mechanism is in, the engine is in, it's connected. Once the ECU is connected up, it'll be uh, fine. Yeah, actually, there's the thing, I'm going to put that duct back on. Um, and, uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll leave it at that. Because um, uh, I'm getting tired and I'm pissed off now because things haven't all gone my way today. You know, it's just been one of those days. But... Uh, Nonetheless, we've made progress. Oh, and there's the OBD port as well too, by the way. If anyone was wondering where I actually put it, that's it. Uh, it doesn't work yet, for some reason, so when the ECU is down getting looked at, I'll, uh, I'll have the lad look at the, um, the uh, output for the OBD port in the ECU. I think there might be something wrong on that end. So hopefully it's uh, nothing major. It probably will be, but anyway. Um, and uh, yeah, so... Uh, Thanks for watching and I'll uh, chat to you in a future video.